Hi guys. Welcome to Military Upgrade. One of these days, the US Army really will replace its M2 Bradley fighting vehicle. Could the umpteenth time be the charm? After multiple failed attempts, the latest competition to replace the Cold War era Bradley infantry fighting vehicle has drawn five contestants. The optionally manned fighting vehicle, OMFV, competition includes all of the big names in US land power, plus companies from Germany and South Korea. The Army will ultimately buy thousands of the new vehicles, which are designed to carry an infantry squad into combat. The M2 Bradley entered service in the 1980s as the first American infantry fighting vehicle, IFV, a new concept pioneered by the Soviet Union. Unlike previous infantry carriers, which dismounted their soldiers before battle, the Soviets designed their BMP-1 to carry an infantry squad throughout a battle, maintaining a unit's battlefield momentum. IFVs were equipped with a small-caliber autocannon, anti-tank missiles, and heavier armor than their predecessors. The latest effort to replace the Bradley collapsed in 2020 when the OMFV competition attracted only one qualified entrant. But now, the contest suddenly has five entrants, Bay, General Dynamics Land Systems, Raytheon, Rheinmetall, Hanwha, Oshkosh, and a new company from Michigan called Metal Ops. The OMFV will be capable of robotic operation. Most, if not all, of the entrants will include artificial intelligence, anti-tank missiles, flying drones, and an active protection system capable of shooting down incoming rockets and missiles. The Army also wants a beefier gun than the Bradley's M242 25mm autocannon to engage more heavily armored targets at longer ranges. The KF-41 Lynx is a partnership between the US-based Raytheon and the German defense contractor Rheinmetall. The Lynx has a crew of three, and can carry eight soldiers in the back. That's one more than the M2 Bradley. In February, Rheinmetall and Allison announced a partnership to equip Lynx with what the two companies call a next-generation electrified transmission. Raytheon will reportedly add its Coyote airborne drone to the vehicle, giving the KF-41 eyes over the battlefield. The Lynx is armed with a Lance 2.0 turret that includes a 35mm cannon and mission pods capable of carrying anti-tank guided missiles, drones, or loitering munitions. The vehicle is equipped with a modular armor system that weighs between 37 and 55 tons, according to Breaking Defense. The system would allow the Army to deploy Lynxes with less armor to places where local bridges couldn't support the weight of a 55-ton vehicle.